The Red Cross is providing supplies and treatment for cholera patients. In fact, we've already spent more than $3 million, and we plan to spend at least another $11 million to help fight the spread of cholera. We've opened two cholera treatment centers, and we're funding other treatment centers as well. And we're providing safe chlorinated water each day to more than 300,000 people in Port-au-Prince. And we've also donated 10 million Aquatabs. These are tablets that help purify drinking water. And we've donated those to the Haitian Water Authority. We have funded hundreds of thousands of items, such as soap, oral salts, IV solution to rehydrate patients. We've also shipped thousands of cots from our warehouses in the U.S. And to get people to know about reducing the spread of cholera, we've actually sent 2.7 million text messages to cell phones across the country. Hundreds of American Red Cross trained hygiene promoters are going tent to tent in camps in Port-au-Prince and they're teaching people how to prevent cholera and what to do if somebody has the symptoms. I actually had the privilege of following several of these volunteers as they visited every tent and I have to say this is not an easy feat particularly given that the country has a high illiteracy rate and these volunteers use the most ingenious techniques including providing storyboards with pictures. They would demonstrate different hand washing techniques. And at the very end, they would gather the kids in the camps and they would teach them the cholera song. And this had lyrics that was all about cholera prevention.